Hello ladies and gentlemen, and in case you haven't realized, you will soon be broke even if you have a job. And what am I talking about? With the prices of everything that's going up, you're not going to have to worry about what is available in the stores anymore because you're not going to be able to afford it. This is one way that these companies and these stores are going to be able to restock their shelves because they're going to raise the prices so high that the average person will not be able to afford what the product is on the shelf. There's a lot of things that are going on in this world right now that we really need to be paying attention to besides what is taking place overseas. We have a lot of things that are, are going on right now in our own homeland that nobody is really talking about. We still have the bird flu that is still raging on, but you don't hear about that in the news. You don't even hear about Charlie Victor 19 anymore in the news. That's all been swept underneath the mat. It's amazing how one catastrophe outranks another isn't it? But we all could be prepared. We still have all the different shortages that are going on in the stores. We still have that, you know, the shelves aren't full. There's still empty slots. There's still limits. There's still all this stuff going on. We have container ships that are still setting way out off the ocean where nobody can see them. But if you download a certain app, you can go on and it's called Marine Tracker and you can see for yourself. They're all out there. They're still having a problem moving all the products and stuff from West Coast to East Coast and vice versa. They bring the products over here but they still have to get all those empty containers back to the West Coast to get loaded back onto the cargo ships so that they can make it back to their port. So they can be reloaded and sent back over here all over again. It's like one big, huge mess. We're still dealing with the onsite that once Charlie Victor 19 hit and the stores were completely wiped out of all different types of products, nobody has been able to catch up. What else is taking place? You know, there's still the whole tin shortage that is going on, but nobody seems to be talking about that either. You know, and that's causing everything from your canned goods to your beer to soda and everything else to go up in price or not be available. You see, folks, there's a lot of things that are rippling through this country. And the one thing that just doesn't make much sense to me is why we don't have a plan in place spending billions of dollars on us. And this is what I mean. We want to spend billions of dollars and we want to do this and that and we want to give it to this person or this country and, and you know help take care of the this person and this person. That's fine and dandy, but why can't we spend these billions and trillions of dollars I'm bringing back our own jobs and manufacturing to this country where in which place we don't have to worry about all these disruptions and stuff anymore. Maybe because that makes sense. I don't know. You comment below what you think. Do you think that the United States should be spending our tax money our tax dollars, folks, on bringing back the jobs and the manufacturing to this country so that we don't have to be dependent on other countries as much as we are now. What is your view? Put it in the comments below. The only thing that I can tell folks out there after doing these videos quite a few Sundays now, it's still disturbing to see that we're still in the same boat. A lot of people are reporting that their stores have been getting better Then other people are reporting, well, their stores are getting worse. So it's a catch 22. It just depends on where you're at. And I guess on what is taking place around you at the time of 
these things happening, which means, you know, maybe you're getting bad storms. Um, maybe there is more traffic. Maybe they've closed roads. Maybe the trains and stuff aren't getting through because of whatever. You know, there's always a reason for something. You just have to find it out nowadays because if you put on the news on any station, the only thing that we're covering is Ukraine and Russia. And my heart goes out to those people in Ukraine. I truly feel so bad for those people and what they're going through. Hence the reason why you want to be a prepper. You have to look no further, folks, than what is taking place there. If that doesn't scare you enough to want to be a prepper and make you want to be prepping to do whatever you can, I don't know what will. So, in closing, folks, I hope that everybody stays safe. Save every penny you can. I'd say if I was you, I'd suggest downloading some apps on your phone to try to find the best deals on gas. I would try to find the best deals on food. I would be checking all my food apps, your grocery store apps and everything else to see who's running the best sales. This is the time when we have to be ready and we have to be prepared and we don't have a choice in this matter, folks. So you need to do your part and save as much money as you possibly can. A lot of these apps are all free, but can save you a lot of money in the long run. You have to map everything out and make sure that you know, well, is it going to be worth the gas price to drive my car to that store to get that deal? Always try to hit your local stores and stuff first and see if they got any really good deals or anything else. Some of your smaller markets, like your Asian markets, your Mexican markets, your all those different types of small markets. Sometimes they have products in there and you might be able to get some good deals too. You just don't know unless you try or look. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today. It's another Sunday video, folks. Keep prepping, because things aren't getting better. The pot just got a lot hotter with the gas prices going through the roof. It's gonna affect not only the fuel that you put in your car, the fuel that you put in your house to heat your home. It's gonna start affecting the groceries that are in your stores. Mark my words, folks up now. So until next Sunday, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. You all stay safe. You keep prepping. Look for all those good deals and I'll catch all of you on the flip side.